Henny Prospect, um, if we haven't met you already, I'm James, and this is my wife, Cheyenne. Uh, we're the Garcias, and um, you probably see us on a Sunday morning or Wednesday night just hanging around and having fun and worshiping Jesus in um, different ways. And uh, we're here today. We want to make sure that you... Um, Any prospect, um, if we haven't met you yet, um, I'm Cheyenne. I, I also said I'm Cheyenne. <laughs> you did that before. <laughs> okay. We can have so many bloopers in this thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, new prospect, if we haven't met you already, uh, I'm James. This is my wife, Cheyenne. Um, we're the Garcias, and you'll probably see us on a Sunday morning or Wednesday night um, having fun and worshiping Jesus in different ways. And um, we're here today. We just want to spend some time with you uh, in your RTB uh, 2021. For uh, we're going to talk about Matthew 11 and a couple of points we we got from it. Um, and for the first thing for me, I really like um, the section where Jesus is talking about John the Baptist and saying how um, there is no one um, born out of a woman greater than uh, he, John the Baptist, and but he who is least in the kingdom um, is greater than he. Um, and I think what Jesus is trying to say there how, um, is that, you know, John the Baptist had a wonderful, incredible ministry and traveled all over the place and grew a long beard, probably. And um, I think that to try and re- replicate actions like his walk and his, his ministry is sounds super exhausting, right? And I, But I think what Jesus is saying that um, in our actions and in, in, in our uh, um, what we do in our daily life, um, does not represent us because we won't match up to John the Baptist. And he's he follows it up with saying that he who was least in the kingdom, born again, um, which John the Baptist wasn't, um, is greater than he. And I think what he's trying to say there is that our identity is found in Jesus now. And um, and through this new born-again life, um, we are greater. And we don't have to try and, you know, make actions, replicate um our, our love for him and our, our try to showcase our love for him it it's not how it is um and so i think that's super cool um and then another verse that our section that stuck out to us in matthew 11 was 28 through 30 um it's just such a special message from christ that um when he says come to me all who are burdened who labor who labor and are heavy laden um just another benefit of like james was talking about that we're covered by the blood of christ um and this special relationship that we get to have with him um it includes this invitation to come to him with our burdens um and that with that uh he might not in every situation he might he might not just take away whatever that burden is and um you know everything's you know perfect after that 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 doesn't happen but what he does is even better he um he gives us his yoke um which it says is easy and his burden is light um so yes there's still a burden but we have christ and what's really cool about it is that he says take my yoke upon you and learn from me so Um, with whatever our burdens are, whether it's just day-to-day struggles, whether it's um, really heavy stuff that we might be dealing with, if it's just the the, uh, labor of laboring in the field and sharing Christ, um, whatever it is that we can learn from Him, that we can give whatever our struggles are to Him, and then He's going to teach us how to operate in this life, um, which is just so special. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, this chapter is very special. I think it's super cool. Um, just Jesus laying it out and just uh, giving us something to look into even today. Um, and it's super cool. But I'll pray us out, um, and we hope you have a wonderful time. Father, thank you for this word. Thank you for who you are, and thank you how um, you, used, uh, you used your word to tell us and to teach us things every day. And thank you for just Matthew 11 and how you taught us to... Um, Father, just to have an identity in you and how through you, Father, that you just um, your yoke is easy and uh, the burden is light, Father. I just pray that you be um, presenting that to us, Father, and uh, showing us and giving us clarity on that. And um thankful for your ministry and everything you did. To your name, amen. Amen.